invite to the microphone a very distinguished entrepreneur, a two-time Minister of Industry in Nigeria, an economist, a counter by excellence, Chief Dr. Mrs. Oni Ekwa on the OM, to also please uh, give a remark uh, on this speech's occasion. With due respect, now, let's please welcome now to the mic. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, wife of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mrs. Aisha Mugabe, even though I've been told to uh, limit my goodwill message to about two minutes, but there are some people I would still like to recognize. Your Excellency, wife of the Governor of Lagos State, Mrs. Bolanle Ampodi, your Excellency, wife of the Governor of Oyo State, my dear uh, First Lady of Oyo State, beautiful Mrs. Flores Achimoki. Your Excellency, the wife of the Governor of Oyo State, Mrs. Amosu. I congratulate you for your recent award. Son Award. Your Excellency, all the distinguished first ladies that are here, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Mrs. Idiot, I take the name. All the first former uh, uh, Deputy Governors from Lagos State are here. I recognize you all. Mama, the wife of the general overseer of regime worldwide. This is going to have a good day. With her presence here, we are convinced that our prayers for eradication of corruption among women will be heard today. Thank you, Madam. Your Imperial Majesty, of a real one, thank you, CFR, Olomoki, Baba, Kua, please help me give you a big round of applause. Olori Ofoni, Olori Kura, Ogunusi, I have to recognize her. Because the old man gave me a big chicken title. Now, having said all this, let me go to my good message. It's going to be very short. I'm delighted to join the organizers of this event to an important program on engaging Nigerian women in the fight against corruption. This is surely a crusade that deserves every support that we can give. His Excellency, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, is already providing an excellent leadership on this matter. Corruption has been a major impediment to the progress of the Nigerian economy over the years. It has also undermined the welfare of the people. The implications of corruption for the economy and investment is multi-dimensional. Some of the adverse effects include negative effects of public finances and the ability of government to meet its obligations to the people. Negative effect on the quality of policies and the consciousness of the investment environment. Adverse effect on human capital development as a result of the inadequate investment in health and educational services. For this reason, we shall see corruption as an unnecessary evil that we all need to collectively fight against it. 
as women, we have a major role to play in this regard. First, as mothers, we have a duty to ensure good upbringing of our children. We should ensure that they imbibe with the right values. A child that is well brought up will not grow to become an adult that will end up looting government treasury or any treasury for that matter. The quality of upbringing has a major influence on the personality and the character of an individual. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to quote Napoleon Bonaparte. Give me good mothers, and I will give you a great nation. Please clap. For us. The second major role we should play is in our capacity as housewives. We should resist the temptation of pressurizing our husbands beyond their legitimate capacity to provide for us. So men indulge in corrupt practices in order to give up to the expectation of their wives. We should not allow this to happen. We should regularly cancel our husbands to tread the path of honor and integrity. It pays in the end to do so. We are aware of the unethical business practices. We are aware that unethical business practices is also a significant component of corruption in the economy. This is why we at the Labour Chamber of Commerce and Industry, we have a code of ethics to which we expect our members to subscribe. Finally, let me congratulate EFCC and in particular, Mr. Ibrahim Magu, Acting Chairman of EFCC, the man that is behind this program. For incorporating women into this important crusade on anti corruption, I assure the Commission of the support of the business community at all times. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for your kind attention. 